Tommy Horn. I'll squirt some more. How about not? Welcome back to Trover, Trover. Trover. saves the universe. Good news. Don't let me down. Good news, what do you got for us, we boss? Got all the crystal babies. Well, tickle my pickle green. If someone had told me that a burnout eye hole monster and a dirty cherubian would be the ones to save the universe. Excuse me. You know what, boss? I gotta tell you, I really don't like you talking about my partner that way. Why is that, Trover? You do it all the time. You little piece of shit. What? N no, I, no, no, I don't. Yes, you do, Trover. You, just the other day, you called him a lazy lap llama with limp dick little llama legs. I heard you say it. I, are you gonna fucking deny it to me right now in my face when I fucking heard you say it? And I fucking saw your lips move when you said it? You little fucking twerp. Now let's save the goddamn universe, Trover. Jesus Christ, look, I, I may have said those things, but it's different now. We're, 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 we're bonded, we're partners. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna change the subject. We're gonna change the subject. Uh, we, 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 we got the crystal babies. Let's go, uh, let's, let's go fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Trover, let's go do it. Whatever you say. I, what, I, I, I don't even care. We're gonna save the cosmos. Take the crystal babies to the abstainers, plug them into their eyes and reconnect them, and then we'll reconvene and... Discuss the next steps. Okay. Are you you're just the, the dirty cherubian, so but it's okay. Is, you heard a lot of stuff. You're my best bud now. Gail. And uh, all the stuff Gail said yeah. I did. It's true. I don't know why I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll this, just, uh, I did I'm used to be cherished. Now than I was, you know. I I'll just uh, stab you in your sleep. And yeah, I used to pee in the sink. And <laughs> yes, I I fucked a shrinkle and a dinkle. But I'm changed. I feel changed since I've been with you and kind of we've been going on doing all this stuff together. I feel different towards cherubians. You know, I you're just like me. We're on another level of friendship now. I drink a beer with you at my favorite drinking hole, the Empty Peepers. That's the place in my home world that I love to go to. They know how to deliver a drink right into your eye holes. But I'm sure we'd figure out a way for you to enjoy a drink there too. I'd tell them you're my pal, my Cherorpian pal, and I'd defend your back because I know they'd all be really cherished. <laughs> they drink through their you. eye holes? Most of my I mean, is cherished. but they have anyway, mouths! You're my best friend now. Let's go it's probably more efficient. This shit. We're gonna it's, but it's not! You and me how do you know? I mean, I guess that's fair. <laughs> but Good talk. Now it's like, time for yep. So that's just ten uncollected power babies. Oh, jeez, he seems wasted. Oh man, you know I've been dying to tell you guys. You know, you know why Glorcon's doing all this, right? It's because of his true love. He's been trying to create the perfect recipe of planet combinations to bring about the existence of his dream girl. You know, his true love. What? Yeah, since Glorcon was able to see all the future eventualities, he's engineered the one that would result. Hello, Cherorpian. Hello, Trover. Please hurry and install the crystal creatures into the. He's just. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, all right, so so what wh what do you want us to do to you know to help you get to be four? What do you think, Dum Dum? Dum? You, you have, have to find two more of the crystal creatures and then somehow get them plugged into Glorcon's eye holes. That will unite the four of us who will once again be back normal and the, the whole thing, the reunited thing that we talked about earlier in the game. All right, okay, <laughs> we're gonna head out. Good, head out. And as you walk back to the telepod, we'll just go ahead and let you know that, you know, we don't know what's going on. You know, our brains are all amok. You know, it's all muddied. We can't really predict the future of anything right now because Glorcon's out there changing the present. You know, he's doing things and we don't know what the hell those the rippling effects are. We don't even know what he's up to. We have no idea what he's doing. But all we Thank you is, for looking after our universe, you sure. dum-dums. All right, Cherorpi and Trover, good work. I see you've uh, got the abstainers all linked up. That's good to hear. Now, you're going to have to get those last two crystals, and you're going to want to go meet my buddy, one of my pals, a fella named George. He's got the next pair of special creatures stored in a secret place, secret planet. He'll probably hand them over to you with little effort on your part. He's a good dude, one of my best pals. And uh, hope you guys, uh, Cherorpian. I have you know, a sneaking suspicion that this is going to okay? be difficult to get those. All right, good. That's good. That's good to hear. I'm happy to hear that you're feeling good. All right, get out there, and we're getting close. We're getting close to the final part of this whole thing. Boss, I'm feeling a little weird right now because we just found out Glorcon's motivation is just true love. Oh, that makes you feel weird, does it? Does that make you feel weird, Cherorpian? 
Not in the slightest. Yeah, I didn't think it was relatable. Who's ever... Love is a joke anyways. No one's ever felt real love. That's, that's a sign of a sociopath lunatic. <laughs> How could it happen? happen? Don't touch me! Relatable, my shoe. Oh, what the fuck? You two get out of there. You just take get that off your controller? Yeah. Why? Because it was tickling the back of my hand. Go. Get your work done. But aren't you supposed to keep this George, on there? Go talk to him. Why? Take the telepod there. Hurry up. Uh, a sticky piece of plastic. Whatever, it's your controller. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see the back of the other one. It's disgusting. Like you. Yeah, that's why I peeled it off. <laughs> Weird Earth. What? It, th so the place that we're going is called Weird Earth. Yes. Huh. Wait, are we teleporting right now? I think so. Oh, okay. I just couldn't tell because usually we, we oh, like, hey. look into that... What's going on? I'm bathtub guy. Oh, shit. Oh, I I'm so sorry. Hey, partner, I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh, yes, I'm George, but when I'm in the bathroom, people call me bathtub guy. You guys here to play a little midnight shuffle? I mean, listen, we do have big stuff to uh, do, but uh, I, 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 maybe? What's midnight shuffle? You know midnight shuffle. It's when two consensual adults tuck in their chub, hop in a tub, and sit knee to knee. Yeah, no, I, no, why would we want to do that? Because it feels good. Look, I got to be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. All right, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight shuffle, okay? Our boss sent us here to pick up some crystal babies. Oh, shit. Well, why didn't you say so? I know, boss, that SOB owes me 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really high, then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn and scream their ever-loving ass off. Ooh, way is fun. <laughs> anyway, 12 days go by, and we finally get out of the tub, right? I mean, look at our bodies, we're all pruny. My fingers were so tiny, I wanted to touch them. And just as he's about to leave, I go, Hey, man, that'll be 13 Space De Niro. And he's like, 13 what? Then, all of a sudden, Boss takes off running. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Boss is as agile as a greased baby going down a water slide. <laughs> so, look, the only way I'm going to catch him is if I pull out my hookah kooky and give him a whirl of pearly. So that's what I do. I mean, that in real estate, of course. I've been selling a lot of real estate in Manhattan lately. So oh, that's been working huh. out. But property values are He's a real estate agent. The roof. <laughs> Can we just walk so up and do something? To find clients who actually want to invest into a property. Hey, this is porcelain, bitch. Don't hit this. Okay, 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 right. So, what I was saying was, <laughs> but my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. <laughs> but I just keep on talking about it because it's a great investment if you want to make something out of your life. Another great investment. Wait, does he have electrical cords in his? Trust me. Yes. Ice cream on Sundays cords. will make you feel closer to God. Trust that. Because huh. ice cream is sweet. And you know what else is sweet? Church. Church, don't disrespect me by Can you throw the rubber ducky at him? No. Aww. Shit, look, I'm sorry, man. Okay, like I was saying, I'm a Christian man, but I don't necessarily believe in Christianity. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know, hit my the top again. certainly says it is. But I don't let... Do I come to your home and hit you when you in your tub? Seriously, have I? Because that would be rude. Don't do it to me. Partner, would you just listen to him? As I was saying... Oh, we have to I'll listen to him. Bible, tear out half of it and then live by that part of the bible old testament new testament no clue i just point to a page and i go a lot of times that ends up being revelations so i tell people hey if it's the end of the world might as well get into real estate <laughs> <laughs> i mean i guess fair enough hey listen hey sorry Pat, bathtub guy george whatever the world is at stake can you just Hand over the crystal babies, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Well, I don't got them. They're on loan to Tech World. Oh, hey, shit. I know where Tech World is. Fucking Tech World, man. Great. Now, let's see if you know where the door is. 
That means leave. Hit the bathtub. Hit it. You he deserves it. One sec. Come barging into my place uninvited, telling me to be quiet when I'm just trying to sit here naked and watch my shows. So go on, get the hell out of here. Let me watch my show. No respect for tubs. Look, look, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stop messing with my goddamn duck. <laughs> so, anyways. What's this guy's problem? Oh, man. Oh, well. I guess we're going to Tech World. Yay. So, the Apple Store. Basically, we, you know, that'd be hilarious if they actually make that joke. I really wanted to make that joke now. Looks like Ratchet and Clank. Man, this is gonna be a fun oh, one the, to the Power Babies. It looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Let's go get them. This actually looks really cool. Like, wow. I've, I've never... Oh, hello, hi, how's it going? You would really love Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I think it's too late for me to play those games. Why? I don't know. I, I just... I never played them as a kid, and I, I just like, eh, I, I got... They still hold up. Oh, of course. Like, I still play older games. Like, heck, I still have Mario Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I mean, I gotta finish that because I got burnt out, but you know. Yeah, I hear it's a fucking long game. It is a very long game. And the game rooms are like, that's gay. <laughs> so we're gonna not finish it. Yeah. Even though they were, like, so close to finishing it. But oh well. I mean, like... Hey, at least when we stop a series, we're not close to finishing games. Man, cool yeah, we just stop it because it's fucking boring. Uh, no idea how that and also footage corrupts mostly. No yeah, it's that's like I'm not doing this again. That's kind of what ended the Neo series, sadly. And Bloodborne. Yeah, no, Bloodborne. I just forgot to hit the record button like two years ago. Wow, well, I was trying to save you some embarrassment. Yeah, that's fine. I I realize my mistakes. Yeah, because I had just done it, and you yelled at me. And then, it immediately bit me in the ass. Yeah. Felt pretty fucking vindicated, not gonna <laughs> lie to you. Partner, let's, let's get these oh, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? The and find out what the I, it, it's just the distance. Do. Sometimes I can't tell if you can get to some go. things or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Are you enjoying the view? Well, the other thing was sparking, so usually that's not a good sign. I mean, you don't know. Chopper could be electrical God, proof. Proof? Proof. Yeah, he's a proof. <laughs> he's a prune. I don't know what a proof is, but he is a... He is also just a prune. Are we just... Is that it? Alright, look what I see. A couple of the... Holy shit! Partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and... Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, are they just... Nice! You did it! Congratulations! Well, for some reason, I thought this was all interconnected. I mean, it is. You just like, missed the one little thing. Whoa! <laughs> Surprised? It's me. That's right. I, you played right into my hands. You're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your telepod was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You wanna know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm gonna be able to merge a bunch of worlds. Using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go. Huh. Huh. Okay then. Mm. Um. <laughs> it worked. This is just the start. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next machine is gonna include the power of your dogs, and it's gonna merge 87 worlds down to five massive ones, all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's gonna kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs in the process. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water, no telepod. All according to plan. Now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. Suck my little ball. <laughs> well then. Oh god. Oh jeez, partner. Now we're trapped with no place to go. We're basically like Tom Hanks and Cast. <laughs> so yeah, we kind of are. Well. Anyway, on that note, fucking yeah. See you guys later.